is telling us by the qasam of the token of time and by the asr salah by asr salah you will see how many people in the masjid Jumu'ah time asr time not even 10% of those that are here where are we going to perform asr salah at my convenience when I get a chance I'll see later when I get home I'll make qaza as though Allah's order is secondary and not the objective for which we live sadly the reality of one who doesn't realize that my goal and objective is Allah's deen is like that farmer or trader or businessman who got a son and he got his beautiful farm and in that farm he got that beautiful cow that gives him 20 liters of milk every day every day he milks that cow and he drinks and he becomes healthy and he shares with his neighbors and he's too proud of that cow 20 liters every day if his son got sick and he said oh Allah I'll slaughter 10 sheep or 10 cows the like of that we won't say he's insane because this is his objective he wants this person to carry on after him but one day the cow got sick and he says you know I want Allah to cure this cow I want this cow to come right you know what I'm going to do I'm going to slaughter this son then we'll say this man is insane. Why? Because the objective can never be sacrificed for one's sustenance or one's means or one's, 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 one's sideline. The objective can never be sacrificed for the sideline. Everything else has to be sacrificed for the objective. What we came to this world for is deen. And everything has to be sacrificed for deen. And deen cannot be made second. Allah says, humanity is at loss. Inna li insan lafi khusr. Certainly, humanity is in loss. Khusr. Remember this word. We'll be reading it all the time in the Quran. Khasare mehe. This chapter is so important. Sahaba, when they would meet, they would recite this chapter to each other to remind each other how to come out of loss. Allah is saying, everyone is at loss. Inna li insan. Verily, insan. Sab ke sab. All humanity are at loss. Illa. Illa means an exemption. Allah makes an exemption. If you want to come out of loss, Allah is telling us, Illa. Illa means these people who will do these four forthcoming actions will come out of this loss. Illa ladina amanu. Those who bring iman. Those who worry about their iman. Those who prioritize their iman. Number one. Iman comes first. Iman is their goal and their objective. Iman and their worries. Allah, we must leave this world with iman. Number two, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ With Iman. Iman is not something that we just say that I got Iman. Iman is proved by action. We prove our Iman to Allah via our actions. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ That's why wow means and, not or. They got a choice to choose one of these four. Allah says they have to bring Iman and protect their Iman so that they leave this world with Iman. Number two, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ and they strive and endeavor to do good deeds. Every good deed, they strive towards it. They make it, they make amal of it. They, they, they do it with objective and purpose. Amal of salihat. Number two, these are these two actions are beneficial to themselves. Number three, wa wa means and to come out of loss. They have to do this as well. Not o. Oh. Learn few words in the Arabic language. O oh means o. Oh. Allah doesn't give choice here, choose which of the four you want so you can pass the examination. No, we have to pass in all four avenues, all four questions in this exam of this worldly life. Number three, the wasu, it takes a lengthy period of time to explain the depth of this word. Try to, uh, try to explain it simply. It means they importantly, giving importance to this objectively, advise each other towards Iman. Tawasul bil haq. Haq means Iman. And haq also means good deeds. So not only did they do good deeds as mentioned earlier in the verse, wa tawasul. But those who study the Arabic language would know that tawasul comes from a scale in Arabic that means to do it collectively. Tawasul. There's musharaka in this. They help each other in their Iman. So not only do they bring Iman, but they invite others to Iman. This is conditional to come out of loss. The so they invite others to Iman. Why? If we only have Iman, and we don't invite others to Iman, our children tomorrow will lose their Iman. Who will work on our children? We're working in a society. We're living in a community. If we're working on others, Allah will bring others to work on our own children. 
When our children are falling in the dens of vice tomorrow, who's going to worry about them? If we're going to say, I come to the masjid early and I make my tilawat every day and I wake up in the morning and I make, I make this Allah. MashaAllah. Wallah, it is not enough. Wallah, it is not enough. Conditional in these verses of the Quran. It is conditional. What will happen to your children and my children tomorrow? One Buzruk, MashaAllah, he was shouting the children who were out in one jamaat, you know, youngsters in the jamaat, rattling them. What you doing here? What you doing here? It was early in the morning and the children maybe were making a noise. So another wise man asked him, Are you shouting these children who came to the masjid? Where's your son, uncle? Your son is sleeping in his bed. You can shout these children in the masjid. But your child is in his bed. Who's going to work on our children? What the wa bil haq. Collective effort. Collectively work on iman. What the wa bil sabr. And collectively help each other in times of difficulty and atrocity. Don't see someone in difficulty and just drive past. That is not Iman. Part of Iman is to help that person, irrespective of Muslim, non-Muslim, irrespective of color, race, background, nationality. These are four conditions to come out of destruction. Who is saying? Me? No. Kalamullah. This is Quran. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah says, if we have these four, then we are successful. If these were the four qualities in our lives, we are successful. Sahaba, when they would meet, Sahaba say, as they would discuss, whatever they would just discuss, before they would depart, one Sahabi would say to the other, and bid him, please, read this important surah to me. So before they would depart, they would recite to each other surah to al-asr. That's why to recite to each other, before our departure from each other, well, asr is a sunnah of Sahaba. When we do these four, the previous chapter, Allah says, your race in this world has occupied you, preoccupied you from these four. I discussed it with you in the beginning of the chapter. Can you remember? It has occupied you, taken you away. Then I mentioned to you there, what has it taken us away from is not mentioned. al hakum an ayyishe is not mentioned. From these four things, that it be that the, the chase of this world is taking us away from our objective, for what we live in this world for, which is these four actions. And when we do these four, Allah will save us from the next four. What's the next four? That comes in the next chapter, 104. There Allah discusses four actions that has to come out from us. Allah starts that chapter with Wailun. Wailun means woe and destruction. And this is a valley in Jahannam. This is the last surah in the Quran that starts with Wailun. Such a valley in Jahannam that Jahannam itself asks Allah's protection from it. The very deadly valley. Wailun. Whoa! Destruction! A valley in Jahannam for who? Likulli humaza. Humaza. For every backbiting, derider. One who backbites others, speaks bad about others. One who will slander others. One who will break the hearts of others. And what's his goal and objective? Allah jama amalan. His day and his night is to accumulate. Jama amalan. Mal ku jama karna. Some of us understand Urdu, so I want you to understand it when you're reading it in your sunnats. Today, after Doha, read sunnats and read these surahs so that it, we can go home with this message. Jama amalan, his day and his night is to accumulate wealth. Because there's a pleasure in it. There's a, there's a race in it. There's a challenge in it. He wants more and more and more. Jama amalan. Now he has so much. Wa'addada. And he counts it. He knows there's hundred points in it. He knows there's a million in that package, but he'll count it again, and again, and again. وَعَدَّدَ And the other meaning of عَدَّدَ He thinks, this money will take me out of trouble. جَعَلَهُ عُدَّةً لَهُ He doesn't realize, it's only iman and a'mal that will help us in difficulties. No, I got it. I got it kept. It's gonna help me. These are, I've got no time to discuss it further. To explain to you the link. When we don't do what we're supposed to do, then we start doing these four don'ts. That's the link of the surah. The whole Quran is linked like this. When we stay away from what we're supposed to, we get involved in what we're not supposed to. But when we're busy in correcting ourselves, correcting our communities, correcting humanity, we won't backbite anybody. We'll worry. We also got children. We won't look down upon anybody. We'll love everybody. That person will come to the masjid, we'll value him. That person who will try, will respect him, will appreciate him, will never chase anybody away. And I'll finish with example, with this example. And every one of us analyze this. Think you and I are drowning. Think we are drowning. 
is bring down the ocean, is falling. And think you and I, if you think about yourself, I think about myself. Even if you want to close your eyes, you're welcome, because I'll be finishing in two minutes. Don't worry about time, think about this analysis. I'll be finishing in two minutes. Think, I am drowning, you now, you are yourself, I am myself. I am drowning and I am unconscious. And now when I'm unconscious, I'm in the ocean, the first thing I have to do is regain consciousness. I have to come back to consciousness. So I have to awaken somehow. When I awaken, I realize I'm drowning. I have to make a motion, make a move. I have to swim, I have to kick, I have to make some motion that will get me to the surface. That's the second effort I have to make. So first I have to awaken. Then I have to get, get to, to salvation because I'm not, I'm not in safety yet. I'm still in destruction. Khusr, I'm still in khusr. When I get to the surface and I just take a whiff of air and I try to gain some breath, I realize I'm, realize I'm being pulled downward. So I look down into the water and I see my brother is connected to my foot. He's tied to my foot with chains. So he's pulling me down. Now he's in his unconsciousness. He's in a deep sleep. So I go down and I'm almost drowning too. But I have to wake him up. Wake up, wake up. He says, no, I'm in a deep sleep. I'm enjoying a brand new car. Enjoying one exotic uh, location. No, brother, you have to wake up. You have to wake up. Even if he doesn't want to wake up, I have to try my best to wake him up because I'm connected to him. We are one society. We are the Ummah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's no Nabi to come. I have to awaken him, even if he doesn't want to. And finally, when I awaken him, he, I have to convince him that he has to make the same movement as I. That movement according to Sunnah and towards Haq. And when we reach the surface, we see the whole community is, co is connected to us. And for Deen to remain in our offspring and our progenies, we have to make an effort. We have to do something. Otherwise, your child, Allah forbid, or my child tomorrow, Allah save us. When we be walking down the, line, down the road, going to church, Allah save us. Why? When we don't do what Allah orders us in the Quran. If you don't understand it, come to me again. I'll explain to you again. But deen, to serve deen and serve humanity, our calm here is our goal and objective and what we live for. Let us aspire to do this.